So hello everyone and welcome to Mojo for Industry presents Digital Dialogue on Industry 4.0 Improving Productivity Delivering Bottom Line Impact sponsored by S Micrometic Group In the rapidly evolving landscape of modern industry the emergence of Industry 4.0 represents a transformative wave that is reshaping the way businesses operate and compete To discuss on this topic now we are joined by two renowned industry experts mr modusudan n kestur who is the director of s micrometic mit amit and also we are joined by mr vipul chobda who is the ceo of kts spindle twillings so the internet of things or iot has emerged as a revolutionary paradigm connecting devices sensors and systems to enable seamless communication and data exchange to start with i will invite mr Madhusudan N Kestur who is the director of S Micrometic MIT to talk about the dynamic landscape of IoT solutions and the significant improvements they deliver across various industries just to touch upon why does somebody embark on a industry for journey or an IoT journey basically that response cycle to respond to any event on the shop floor from the time that the event has occurred to the time that it is recognized understood and action taken this response cycle needs to be compressed this is the fundamental objective of undertaking any industry for journey or iot journey now productivity itself may mean different things to different customers but ultimately improvement in productivity means improvement in pro- profits or increase in profits this is what it should result in and how do we look at an roi perspective how do i measure the impact of a digital uh, adoption just to give you one example let us say there is a machine which is having an average machine hour rate of 300 rupees if i am able to improve the productivity by 10% and sustain it for one year so it is like gaining 18000 rupees per month so within 5 months i get my investment back if i have invested 90000 rupees on the digitalization effort and the next 7 months is adding to my bottom line this is one way of looking at it so within the company itself you have several functions so typically we start with one function something like manufacturing implement the digital workflows establish a platform then you start integrating the other functions of your company this is called the verti- vertical value chain integration and once you have established the platform you can start bringing on your suppliers which is upstream and your customers which are downstream so this is the horizontal value chain integration so this is how typically companies go about adopting digital workflows so now what are the challenges what does the industry for or the iot landscape offer to you as challenges and opportunities so the team or the implementation partner or your own internal team should be capable of working with different technology protocols to acquire the data they should be able to understand different applications they should be able to work with equipment coming from different manufacturers this graphic shows several different types of machines uh, which you come across in a shop floor and it also captures the different touch points industry for a iot landscape can have with your factory so starting right from the material coming into the shop floor you can have track and trace systems now the production plans or schedules are released from the erp or your mrp to the shop so you can replace your paper based workflows with electronic workflows those are called e shop x solutions as the production happens you can monitor your uh, machine performance process performance asset health etc using real time oe analytics you can integrate your digital gauges cmms quality measurement systems into the same platform to give you an idea of how the quality of the process is going on you can also consider uh, linking your process parameters as an example 
energy consumption is one such parameter energy consumption versus part production is a correlation that many companies use to understand the uh, health of the system similarly the maintenance function in your company may be interested in looking at machine diagnostics how is my machine performing is there a problem will it go down in some time so these are some of the use cases that the maintenance department will be interested in there are also solutions available for assembly line monitoring to make sure that the assembly line does not stop the data collected from the shop floor is converted into meaningful dashboards and is projected on the and on screens on the shop floor so this is like a real time view of the shop floor conveyed to the right people at the right time so that any action necessary can be taken immediately few customers uh, these solutions can be adopted whether it is in sme or a large oem so we have uh, done several uh, implementations across large oems tier 1s tier 2s and smes and these are uh, working very well and people are getting lot of uh, benefit out of this so uh, thank you so much uh, mr madhusudan for sharing details on iot solutions landscape and how the adoption of industry 4.0 improves bottom line industry 4.0 and digital transformation are closely related concepts that represent significant shifts in the way businesses operate leveraging advanced technologies to enhance efficiency productivity and competitiveness now mr bipul vijay chopda who is the ceo of kts pindal toolings will share a real time success story that illustrates how embracing industry 4.0 principles in manufacturing can lead to substantial improvements in efficiency quality and overall operational performance digital transformation at kts pindal toolings shop floor this journey was started almost 10 years back but uh, that time amit was not the partner we had taken some local partner but it miserably failed we had to stop this after 6 or 8 months and uh, then then we never turned back since last 2 years when we came to amit because we weren't able to find the right partner in the meanwhile we got the complete erp system uh, set right at our end which uh, uh, also helped us to implement amit Uh, in a good way kts pindal toolings is a tool holder manufacturing company we have here almost 350 people working 150 cnc machines on the floor and we produce 10000 plus holders per month and around about 30000 accessories per month most important as i said you uh, that uh, we knew what we wanted from amit uh, as we had a big failure 10 years back so when we interacted with uh, amit uh, two years back uh, or two and a half years back i could see that they understand what the customer is trying to talk what we are telling they are understanding which is a biggest problem in this industry with most of the companies because most of the companies with such solutions are only software background companies they don't understand machine shop they don't know what is turning milling grinding what are the integrities so just come to the point that uh, uh, we have got very small batches uh, we our batches starts from five numbers to maximum 200 numbers and that was always a challenge how to optimize these uh, uh, things into the production because uh, earlier before amit say four or five years back it was a, like a, a nightmare five jobs cycle time was not more than an hour 10 minutes or 15 minutes each job and the setup time was more than 6 hours because oh now where is the raw material oh now where is the tools where is the program where is the drawing uh, one more thing which i would like to point out very specifically is uh, we have 150 machines since and some machines are since 1998 so for getting the digital uh, signals from these machines was a big challenge but amit has a solution even if you don't have a digital uh, signals it helps you to get you the uh, the overall view what is happening with the machine one more thing uh, which is uh, i would like to put ahead for amit team is they are not that putting their hands up and saying only we are software provider no they have helped us from selecting the right server the right systems for cabling the right uh, switches where to be put to be put 
and they have checked the entire system whether you are going to get the final output. This is the structure what we have in KTA. Uh, they were uh, uh, able to uh, have an HMI solution on each machine in KTA. So for which which that because of HMI solution, uh, we could achieve a lot of uh, digital data possible to get on the machines. Getting from machines data is a different story. Getting data to the machine is also one of the important part, which uh, they have done through their eShopX. This is, you can see, this is how on each machine we have a screen. We have a planner of each shop. We have divided almost in uh, seven shops. Earlier, this was done by writing on a board. And writing on a board means it's a nightmare. Operator doesn't used to understand what is written, or if it is written, the sequence was not there. Anything used to add. The so the most first basic thing is that they have given a platform where we can write down or they we can put a schedule to each machine. Uh, what, what schedule is given to which machine? These data are able to be uh, get from design department program department and then finally simultaneously to the stores department also to get the tools, picture, gauges and uh, required things to run the machine. Onto these departments, they fill in the data and the, whenever this uh, job is ready to go, this all data and all these cutting tools and fixtures are available from the stores easily for the operators. Operator will select this schedule based on the priority number given and start the machine. Once the plan is selected, operator automatically gets all the running component masters like drawing tools, files, fixtures, PDF, and every five parts uh, produce HMI will ask for inspection parameter. This is called as IDC in our end. The IDC is uh, very, very important because in KTA, we had rejection rate of more than nine to 10%. So if five parts are produced, we are losing almost one part. So that was also our one of the biggest motto uh, to implement Amit. Now we have a, on an HMI, we have an intelligent Excel sheet of each component where the operator has to fill the, uh, uh, the, the important parameters without which the uh, HMI screen will keep on popping that you have not filled the parameters of the component. And once the operator has to fill the parameters, he, he does the inspection and he does the inspection so automatically understands that these parameters are haywired, I have to make something correction in my offsets. Uh, inspection station. This is the development which Amit has done personally for KT. As I told you, they are very flexible and they don't say 99.99% to any item until and unless it is uh, something like I asked them to get a, a Mars planet for me. So they have done this very successfully for KT and uh, this has helped us to reduce the rejection levels. Perpetual annual cost saving of rupees 75 lakhs. This amount is very, very small. What we have written on this, uh, we have got so many uh, intangible uh, improvements in our company. Like we could change the, at the entire atmosphere of the organization. If you have to work in KTA, you have to work eight hours without doing here, there and there. So this is like you cannot count uh, in an organization uh, uh, with money, this intangible uh, uh, asset. So thank you very much uh, for giving this opportunity to, to uh, show what KT is able to do because of Amit's help. And uh, we hope Amit uh, is able to help many more companies. Uh, finally, uh, helping companies means helping our country to be more efficient and to be more cost effective to supply worldwide. So uh, thank you so much, Mr. Vipul, for sharing details on how Industry 4.0 and digital transformation can collaboratively drive organizational evolution, foster innovation, and position yes. businesses for sustained success in the dynamic digital age. Uh, so with that, the successful integration of smart technologies not only address immediate challenges, but can also position a manufacturer for long-term competitiveness in an ever-evolving industry landscape. That is what we understood from today's presentations. Thank so you, thank sir. you, delegates, for attending. We hope you have enjoyed this episode of Mojo for Industry Presents Digital Dialogue on Industry 4.0, Improving Productivity, Delivering Bottom Line Impact, sponsored by S Micrometic Group. For more updates, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon.
फॉर मोर अपडेट्स प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन